Hey everyone, today we're diving into a situation that feels like it's straight out of a Cold War spy novel, but trust me, it's happening right now. Three Russian warships and a nuclear-powered submarine have just docked in Cuban waters, sparking a flurry of international attention and a whole lot of questions about what comes next. Now, before we go any further, let me set the scene. Imagine waking up to the news that a fleet of foreign military ships, including a nuclear sub, has just arrived close to your country's shores. Sounds intense, right? Well, that's exactly what happened in Havana this Wednesday. These Russian vessels weren't just stopping by for a tourist visit. They're here for military exercises in the Caribbean. But here's where it gets even more interesting. The presence of these ships isn't considered an immediate threat to the US, but you bet it's enough to get some American ships deployed to keep an eye on these Russian guests. According to US officials, this isn't the first time, and probably won't be the last, we see Russian military presence in this part of the world. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan commented on this, making it clear that while this might seem like a throwback to Cold War tensions, it's part of a pattern we've seen before. The big question on everyone's mind, what are these warships planning to do next, especially the submarine, and why Cuba? After their stay in Cuba, these ships are expected to head to Venezuela, another close ally of Russia. But the plans for the submarine remain under wraps, adding a layer of mystery to the whole scenario. So what does this all mean? Are we witnessing a revival of Cold War-style standoffs? Or is this just a strategic maneuver by Russia to flex its military muscle on the global stage? And more importantly, how should the world, particularly the US, respond to this kind of military posturing? That's what I'm here to unpack. While the situation doesn't pose an immediate threat, it's a significant development in international relations and definitely something to keep an eye on. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think Russia's move signifies? And how do you see this impacting global peace and security? Thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to hit that like button if you found this breakdown helpful. Stay informed and stay safe, everyone. Until next time.